People have always wondered how different their lives would be if they could perceive things that others couldn't. We rely on our ability to interpret the world for every aspect of our lives. Traditionally, this information comes from the five senses, sight, hearing, touch, taste, and smell. But what if that was just the beginning? Now, researchers have been conducting a study which may suggest the existence of a sixth sense, the ability to detect magnetism. Magneto reception is when animals are able to perceive magnetic fields and is mainly useful for navigation and orientation. There are many different species that possess disabilities such as turtles, bees, lobsters, birds, and plenty more that are thought to be able to sense magnetic forces such as dolphins, whales, and now perhaps even humans. It's an ability that's been known for more than 50 years, but scientists still don't fully understand how it works. But here are four main suggestions for how magneto reception is possible. Number one, magnetotaxis. There is a class of bacteria that exhibits magnetorecepting abilities called magnetotactic bacteria. They orient themselves and actually move in line with the Earth's magnetic field. To do this, they have tiny structures called magnetosomes that contain magnetic particles which align themselves within the bacteria. They essentially recreate lines of magnetism inside themselves. The bacteria can then move and react accordingly. Number 2. Ampullae of Lorenzini Sharks, stingrays, and other cartilaginous fish are thought to be able to sense magnetic field, and it has to do with a unique organ known as the ampullae of Lorenzini. The main purpose of this organ is to detect electric currents, which allows the animals to hunt their prey. But electricity and magnetism are so closely linked by Faraday's law that it's quite possible that weak magnetic fields are detected as well. Number 3. Iron Clusters One possible way that animals and maybe even humans can attain magnetoreception is the buildup of clusters of iron or any other magnetic elements. It's thought that this method is particularly useful in building a magnetic map of an area where the concentrations are linked to the central nervous system to help navigation. As an example, hens and homing pigeons have increased levels of iron inside their upper beak. It's so effective that pigeons can still navigate in low light even when they can't see ground features at all. Number 4. Cryptochromes Cryptochromes are a type of protein that's responsive to blue light. They're found in plants where they help growth towards light sources, and they are found in animals where they affect body clock regulation and in some case, magnetoreception. In particular, it's thought that the cryptochromes in the eyes of birds are crucial to being magnetically aligned during migration and allow certain species to see magnetic lines. But the question is, what are the evidence for magnetoreception in humans? Before we can understand how something is able to detect a magnetic field, we need to know if it can actually detect the field in the first place. Something that's not as simple as it may sound. People have long thought that humans have some sort of magnetic sense, but how do you prove that when the other five senses are helping with any task that are set? A team led by Caltech with scientists across the US and Japan came up with a novel solution. They took 34 adult volunteers and sat them in a six excited aluminum Faraday cage. Coils were fitted inside the chamber which allowed the researchers to send an electrical current through and therefore create a magnetic field. Volunteers sat on a wooden chair in the center and had 64 electrodes on their heads to monitor their brain activity. The experiment lasted for an hour and consisted of 7 minute periods when they would be exposed to a magnetic field that rotated over 100 milliseconds every 2 or 3 seconds. There were also control experiments as well when no magnetic field was generated. Once the experiment was complete, the majority of volunteers showed no difference, no matter if they were in the experimental or control group. There were four participants though who were different. They showed up to 50% drop in alpha waves, which implies that an external stimulus was being processed by their brains. Scientists say that could be the first experimental proof that there is a magnetic sense in humans, although one that is not present in everyone and needs further investigation. 
So the findings of the recent study suggest that there might possibly be a magnetic sense, but right now things are far from certain. Many believe that we used to have very powerful magnetic detection until our other senses caught up and rendered it useless. So it may still lie dormant within us. This may also not be the only other sense we may have and shows how much more there is for us to learn about just ourselves. Guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Let us know in the comments below what kind of sixth sense you would want to have.